Hey everyone, this is Josh from Josh PCs and Tech, and in this video I'm going to show you how you wire your computer power supply. In another video I made, I think when I built this computer, I completely skipped the wiring of the power supply, so one viewer asked how you do that, so I'm going to be making this video to show him. Alright, so starting with the main things, this is your 20 pin motherboard connector, they also come in 24 pin. Usually it's just an additional 4 pin connector that like can clip onto the side of here. And there's the connector that it goes in. Get this in, you just, there's a little clip right there, and it matches up with the kind of lip side right here. And then you just plug that sucker straight in there. Now, this is your 4-pin CPU power connector. This is just because the motherboard power isn't enough to power the CPU, so this powers your CPU. Also, there's 8-pin connectors for the higher wattage CPUs. That's the connector for it, if you can see it. It's in there. All right. This system doesn't use it, but this is a 4-pin Molex connector. This was pretty much the standard for any peripherals, but now it's not it's a, l a little bit obsolete. This plugs into your older hard drives, your older DVD drives, and any other powered peripherals like fans, lights, and fan controllers. I don't have anything to plug that into for this case, so. And this is your SATA power connector. This is more common nowadays for hard drives and SSDs and optical drives. This just goes in... I don't have a hard drive in this system, so I'll just be showing you the optical drive. You take this and you... S it's right next to the um, where the data goes in. It's in. You can see the data cable right behind it. Alright, that's about it. Also, what I wanted to show you was this connector right here. This is a PCI Express power connector. This is for your graphics cards. This particular cable is an adapter for the older power supplies that don't have this connector on it. What this would do is just get two of those Molex 4 pins and then convert it into, some, into the power for the graphics card because the graphics card is not, like all the higher end graphics cards won't work off of the bus power, so they need additional power. However, all the newer power supplies don't need this because they have this built on, but this power supply doesn't. So if I wanted to install a higher end graphics card into this, I would need this kind of cable. That wraps it up for computer power supplies. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'll try my best to answer them. And that's about it. See you guys later. Like, dislike, comment, subscribe. It would mean a lot. See you later. Bye.